What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Money Yachi TV, man. Today, we doing something a little different, man. This is something new that I want to bring to the channel where each week, all the big albums that drop, man, I'm going to do a video after I've already listened to the album, pretty much talking about what I liked about the project, what I didn't like about the project, what I think of the first week projections and sales and all that, man. I also want y'all to chime in y'all personal opinions and thoughts down below in the comment section of y'all thoughts about these projects. Now, we have checked out both of them. Now, for those of you asking about the Baby and NBA Youngboy album reaction, only reason I wasn't able to upload that to YouTube, because as you know, I streamed it on Twitch. Twitch ended up muting like half of the album, so I uploaded what I could from the Twitch stream, man. But as far as Vaughn's um, album, they didn't, surprisingly, they didn't mute any of that, so I was able to upload the full King Vaughn album. Now, this particular episode that I'm doing, I am going to compare King Von's project to Young Boy's project. It's been a lot of, you know, we, we know the division already. And quick disclaimer before, before I even go further into this, I'm not OTF. I'm not 4K Trey. I'm not from O Block. And I'm not from the North Side. I'm just a fan. And these are just my personal thoughts and opinions. Now, I'm going to be 100% real with y'all. I'm not going to be biased. So let's get right to it, man. So listen, first week sale projections came out. Academics posted King Von selling 65K first week. And NBA Youngboy and the Baby selling 30K first week. Now, let's break that down real quick. King Von, I honestly thought both projects were going to sell close to 40K. Um, I look at Welcome to O Block from King Von. I think it sold 25K first week. And then the week that Vaughn died, it ended up selling, what did it ended up selling? It sold like 30, I think, I want to say it sold 30,000 the second week, the week that Vaughn died. So I knew it was going to be an increase, but 65K, man, that's big. That is big, man. You know, everybody always say, they said it with Pop Smoke too, like after you die, your project, you know, you get more sales. It even happened with Nipsey after he died. His album that already been out started seeing an increase in sales, you know, it, it's just the trend that happened. Um, as far as the baby and young boy selling 30K, honestly, I can't say that I'm surprised. You know, you got to look at NBA Young Boy's history with collab projects. You look at um, From the Bayou, I want to say sold. What did From the Bayou sell? I want to say that sold 30K. Then the Nobody Safe for Rich the Kids sold like 20 or 21,000 first week. Um, so 30K is actually pretty good for a collab project with the baby and young boy. Now, as far as what I thought about each project, um, I'm going to start it off with King Von. I actually really did enjoy King Von's project. I'm glad that they let him really do his thing. I'm glad it didn't become too industrialized, if that's a word. Like, it didn't have too many features from a whole bunch of people. You know, anybody that was on there, Von really fucked with, and they really fucked with Von. Um, I'm going to actually bring up some songs that I actually liked off the project, man. I think it was a lot. Shit, it's damn near no skips, man. FaceTime. Um, shit. The joint with Favi, Evil Twins, Rich Gangster, My Fault, Hard to Trust, Get Back, Get It Done with Peasy. Man, I don't know. It, it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of bangers on that, man. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I'm not gonna lie with y'all, man. I actually did enjoy it. And I was saying, you know, some some people in the stream was saying that every song sounded alike. But what y'all gotta understand, man, that's Von sound. You know, if Von came on that project. If he recorded a lot of songs or where he was like experimenting or doing something different, we would be like, man, what the fuck is this? Like, Vaughn, what is this? You know, why fix was working. Same could be said for the baby. Everybody always said the baby sound the same, but why why change was working, right? So, I mean, overall, man, I think Vaughn, he did what he had to do on the project as far as the drill songs. He delivered on that. Love songs, he even delivered on that. Storytelling is pretty much vintage Vaughn to Vaughn that, you know, that we fuck with. So, like I said, overall, man, I actually really fucked with the project. Um, they really let him do his thing. And I also, I don't know, that last song, The Family Dedication, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a song, more of just like a, just like an outro. It kind of made it seem like we weren't getting another um, project for Vaughn ever. You know, I know there was still some songs that they left off of this. I know you had one with Young and Ace. I want to say that one was unfinished. So they might drop a deluxe to this. I could see them dropping a deluxe to this, but... As far as getting a new album from Vaughn in the future, I'm not sure, you know, if we're going to get that, man. So, overall, man, 
I actually fuck with Von album. So now on to the baby and NBA young boy. Now going into that project, man, I actually had high expectations for it. Um, I knew we weren't gonna get bring the hook, young boy. We weren't gonna get that young boy. We were gonna get what, what did y'all call it? Concert rage songs is what y'all call it, man. I was expecting you know the whole project to be that. Hit was hit was nice. Wi-Fi was hard, Creeper was hard, Head Off was the best one on the project, Neighborhood Superstar was hard, Bestie was hard, Syracuse, honestly man, I know y'all saying that it was, y'all said it was fire, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't get jiggy with that shit, man, I'm sorry, I couldn't, as far as like individual artists, the baby and, and young boy, you know, they could obviously sell more, you know, the baby, I want to say, uh, blame it on baby, so, what is it, like one, 120 or 125 129 first week 129,000 first week sincerely Contrell pulled in 155,000 first week so we know they can pull in numbers individually and personally speaking I feel like young boy is a bigger artist than the baby right now but that remains to be seen you know the next time these two drop a project together and then we can you know compare them but um overall though I actually did you know the project it was it was pretty good it was mostly expected there was some songs on there where I was just like damn I wasn't expecting that type of sound I was expecting all to be a, a concert rage as y'all call it I like that y'all called it that but yeah I was expecting more of that man but overall which project did I enjoy more um honestly man I'm gonna say Vaughn I'm gonna say Vaughn just because like I said it felt like it had kind of like that nostalgia to it, man. It kind of felt like this was also probably going to be the last time we were going to hear a Vaughn album and get any, you know, new music in large quantities like this from Vaughn ever again. You know, no, not to take anything away from NBA Youngboy. You know, Youngboy's been dropping a lot and he's going to continue to drop a lot. But it's just something about the Vaughn album that kind of made it like, damn, you know, kind of bittersweet in a way. So, and, you know, plus, like I said, vintage Vaughn, you know, I, I definitely have to say I, I enjoy Vaughn's album a little more. But not to take anything away from both projects, man. Both of them definitely had some bangers on them. I ain't gonna lie. But like I said, though, man, at the end of the day, I'm just a fan. And I enjoy music. I'm a fan of Vaughn. I'm a fan of Youngboy. Um, you know, and I'm glad that both projects did fairly well. But I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this, man. What project did y'all like more? What it means to be king or better than you, man? Sound off down below. Y'all favorite songs off of it, which y'all didn't like about it. You agree with first week numbers, Vaughn selling 65K, the baby and YB selling 30K. Sound off down below in the, in the comments, man. If y'all new to the channel, y'all rock with me, want daily reaction videos and videos like this, man. Hit that subscribe button for me to the next video. I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Money Yachi TV. I'm out.